2021 Mercedes AMG GLB 35 Review, Fun and Ferocious. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. When the Mercedes-Benz GLB debuted in 2019, I was unsure of it at first. The boxy crossover had a big presence, but it seemed to occupy an unnecessary space between the tiny GLA and hot-selling GLC. With a higher starting price than the former and less power than the latter, the GLB seems on paper at least like a strange middle child. But even within the expansive Mercedes product line, this compact SUV stands out from its siblings. Curious to see what it's like to live with the GLB from day to day, our editors set up an extended review period, keeping the car for two months and using it as a true daily driver. As an added bonus, the test vehicle was the spicy GLB 35 AMG model, packing a more powerful four-cylinder engine and other performance upgrades. After a few thousand miles behind the wheel, the verdict on the GLB 35 boils down to this. It's a phenomenal blend of style, performance, and practicality, provided you're willing to pay the somewhat steep cost of entry. What a great-looking little crossover. If the GLA is too compact and the GLC is too conventional, the GLB is the perfect, abstract in-between. Its design is a fun change-up from the SUV mainstream and better off because of it. Mercedes makes so many darn cars these days that it's hard at times to tell one from another, but the GLB pleasantly stands out from the bunch. This crossover is a spiritual continuation of the old GLK, with its boxy appearance and chunky proportions. But where GLK featured sharper angles and body lines, the GLB smooths things out with minimal creasing in the panels and a rounded off front end. The best details are the square headlights that give the car a distinct look. This GLB 35 model dials up the drama in the right places, too. The downside is that most of the cosmetic enhancements all cost extra money, true to AMG form. Included on this tester is the $750 AMG night package that adds gloss black trim to the front splitter, mirrors, window trim, rear bumper, and exhaust tips. The 21-inch multi-spoke black wheels are both pretty and pricey, costing a rather insane $2,100. Even so, they're some of the best-looking wheels on sale today, and therefore a necessary addition. Inside is the copy-and-paste Mercedes approach that we know and love, with a few tweaks to make the GLB its own. Unlike some of those aforementioned siblings, this GLB shakes up the materials with matte Lindenwood trim and Bahia brown leather. The former elevates the interior dramatically, while the latter is a bit too reminiscent of a football skin. Other touches stand out like the gorgeous trio of circular HVAC vents in the center stack and prominent ambient lighting that dominates the cabin in any low-light scenario. As a crossover between segments, the GLB offers a decent amount of space considering its tight packaging, actually more than the larger GLC. Front passengers get 40.4 inches of headroom and 41.1 inches of legroom to go with it. The back seat isn't punishing either, offering 39.3 inches of headroom and 38.1 inches of legroom. Things are better in the first row of chairs, but I regularly put passengers above 6 feet in the back and seldom heard a complaint. 2021 Mercedes AMG GLB 35 Review
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.